Ladies at the Mirror, Ladies Made, Anna Bates on Down the Abbey. Please welcome Golden Globe winner Joanne Froggett. <laughs> Joanne, it's so funny. Every time I see you, uh, you know, at the Golden Globes and all the award shows, I'm so surprised because you're so glamorous. Oh, bless you. Bless you. And, you know, you don't get to do that on Downton Abbey. No, I mean, that's, you know, that's a nice thing to be able to, um, you know, dress up and surprise people, hopefully in a good way. Yeah, I yeah. don't always look, you know, like Anna with no makeup and my old-fashioned hair. So, yeah, it's fun for me. And Great. congratulations on winning the Golden Globes. Yeah, that wonderful. is awesome. It was an amazing yeah. night. It was it was a very fun night. I mean, um, my award was the second award of the evening, so it's you know I was so relaxed. I was sat there going, no, "It's totally fine. We'll just get this bit out of the way, then I can relax." And you know, I had I really didn't think I had a hope in hell to be to be friends <laughs> <laughs> going home with the award. So um, yeah, so when they. Um, called my name I was still clapping for the winner for about three seconds until I realized it was my name and then I just like <laughs> screamed in a very uncool way and sort of just it was just a you know an amazing surreal incredible moment so you didn't have a speech or anything prepared I mean what I said about um, the lady that had written to me um, you know to do the storyline from Downton the rape storyline I that was something I'd thought mm. about you know when I'd read her letter mm -hmm. which was sort of eight months previously so so that was something I'd, I'd had in my head that is something I'd like to say at some point if I ever if it's ever sort of appropriate but um, I didn't think it would be that moment on that night or right. you know any of those things so um, it was amazing yeah it was an amazing speech and an amazing night and I know that it's probably really fun for you to get dressed up and everything but I would think at your job it's got to be liberating to not have to wear all of the corsetry and all of the jewelry and all of the stuff that the ladies of the manor have to wear. Yeah, it's great. I mean, when we first started filming the first season, I had such costume envy because I was like, oh, girls, this is amazing. Right. Look at this lace and it's yeah. so beautiful. And then actually, you know, when you sort of start getting into the whole process of the practicalities of day to day, yep. it's great because my costume's very robust. I don't have to worry about creasing it. I can have a little snooze at lunchtime. I can have my little power nap. <laughs> um, it's totally fine. And, um, you know, I don't have to, I literally do one or two costume fittings per season, whereas the poor girls upstairs have to do one or two a day. Oh. So I get a lot more time to myself as well. So, yeah, it, it works well for me. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's the way to do it. That's you just do it. totally twisted my mind around about getting dressed up. We want to be in the basement. That's it. That's okay. it. Now, we, we got to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to see if Joanne's going to we'll spill some secrets about Downton Abbey. So, that's such hard work to pull off and you do it so beautifully and it's been a year since the attack right yeah yeah so i uh can't remember i think i think you guys are on uh, episode four of season yes, five that right. she says on sunday so um you know as some of you will know um yeah Season five starts in a more positive place for Anna and Bates, and but they're still trying to find the space to heal as a couple and, mm -hmm. and heal themselves, mm -hmm. and and it's very difficult to do that because the issue of Mr. Green's death is still being brought back up, and it's you know it's very difficult for them to to sort of move forward with their lives. So who did kill Mr. Green? It's more than my life's worth to give it away. I'm afraid we will tickle you if we have to. <laughs> because we, we we know you can't give away any other spoilers, but um, what happens the rest of the season? Um, well, good question. Good question. Well, we start with no, um, no. It's a great season. Obviously, I'm, I'm you know, it's terrible because I, I always feel so bad. I can't say anything, but then nobody really wants to know because everyone know. wants to enjoy it, it with you know as they watch it. But um, yeah, I think I think season five is really strong. It's got all the things that we all love and expect from Downton. You know, romance, drama. Yeah bit of tragedy not too much um so yes yeah, so i hope everyone's gonna really enjoy it uh well we sure do oh, yeah. we really do it's down to now this is